guys, I hope you're well. Today I've got a bit of a different video for you. I have done a little collab with the lovely Amy from the Camera Lies Beauty on YouTube. I'll link her below. And we have decided to go through this month's company magazine, which is the July edition, and pick a makeup look to recreate on our YouTube channels. I was actually in this month's company magazine in the As Worn By feature, and it was a festival theme, and this is the spread, and it's very exciting and a bit surreal. But, um, but yeah, so there I am in company magazine. Um, but I thought, seeing that I'm in here for the festival look, that I would kind of be inspired by company magazine rather than copy a look and kind of recreate my own festival look. So because of this, I've tried to use products that are a little bit lighter on the skin, like tinted moisturiser, because when it's hot, you really don't want to be wearing like foundation that's going to cake up all day and under sunglasses and things like that. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video and do let me know if there's anything else you would like to see and I will see what I can do. Thanks guys, enjoy! I've moisturised my face with Oil Atem Natural Repair Face Cream. Then I apply some primer. This is by Bourjois and it's a Happy Light Primer. I absolutely love this product and definitely recommend it. So because this is festival makeup, you need your makeup to stay on all day, so make sure you apply a generous amount of primer. I use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC15 just under my eyes, on my eyelids and around any blemishes that I might have, especially that big one on my nose. using some tinted moisturiser. This is by Laura Mercier and it's in Natural. I love this product because it's quite thin and it still gives you good coverage, which is brilliant for festival looks. a bit more concealer. This is by Bourjois and it's the Healthy Mix Concealer. This is great because it's quite a thick consistency so if you have got a lighter coverage foundation on this just covers any major blemishes. powder using the Bore Dry Healthy Balance Powder in number 52 and the Real Techniques Powder Brush. Because this quick is quite healthy and bronze, I'm using a bronzer instead of a blush. This is by Bourjois and the brush is from Elf. Add the bronzer to any areas that would naturally tan on your face, such as your cheekbones and the top of your head and also your nose. Then to add a little shine back into the skin, I'm using the Accessorise Highlighter. This is the Baked Bronzer Duo in shade 4 and the brush again is from e.l.f. You can get this highlighter from Superdrug and it's a brilliant, brilliant highlighter. I've had it for ages. Then using my MAC palette, which is really handy for festivals, I'm using the Eyeshadow Club and a MAC brush. Just apply this all over the eyelid, blending outwards, and don't take too much time with it. You want this look to be really quick. some colour into the look I'm going to use a bit of blue eyeliner at the bottom of my eye and you want to simply repeat this on both eyes then I'm 
using the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara in black. I'm applying the mascara only to the top lashes and leaving the bottom ones clear. This will help the blue line liner stand out. Then I just comb through my eyebrows to make sure they're all going in the right direction. Then to fill in my brows a bit, I'm using Max Omega Eyeshadow with an eyebrow brush. This is a great method to fill in your brows. It's not too heavy and it stays in all day. Next, I'm using this lip gloss by Tanya Burr and it smells amazing. This color is just peachy. This is quite a thick gloss, so I apply a little bit and then just rub it in with my fingers. You only need a tiny amount. And there you have it, my quick and easy festival look. So this is my finished look. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspired some of you that are lucky enough to go to festivals this year. If you do decide to recreate this look or you do wear it at a festival, then make sure you tweet me a photo because I'd love to see it. And um, my Twitter is Tiny Twist, so um, yeah, so definitely follow me on there and tweet me your pictures. Thanks guys, bye.